just going to go over the different filter options that you have on your individual graphs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this stem. That's how you're going to get to the graph view. Now, as you can see, we're then brought to a graph screen that looks like this. So on the left side of your screen, you are going to have a few different filter options. Here you can pick which stem you'd like to look at, as well as the time frame you'd like to look at. And then you simply click update chart and the changes will reflect on this screen. The combine option is if you want to see data for all sensors in the same graph and the separate option is if you'd like to see individual sensors data. These are all the different categories that you can look at which I will get into further in another video. These are all the depths you can view, uh, so top, middle, and bottom sensor. Here you can select if you'd like to see the raw data, trend, or both. And by clicking the gear box, you can set up alerts for the stem. If we had any, they would be listed here. You can make edits to modify the stem name, location, depth, etc. That's all done here. You can add notes related to the stem. And you can also modify the thresholds. So we normally don't recommend that you do this unless it's advised by a consultant, um, but it is ultimately up to you.